So let's talk about something real. Have you ever wished you could just ask your company's documentation a question and get a straight answer? Well, today we're going to break down how you can build a completely private, totally secure AI assistant that does exactly that. And get this, it can read all your internal docs and become your personal expert, all in less time than it takes to grab launch. So yeah, let's dive in. You know the feeling, right? We've all been there. Every company, whether it's a tiny startup or a huge corporation, has just mountains of internal docs. You've got stuff on processes, tools, all that institutional knowledge. If you're new, it's totally overwhelming. And hey, even if you're a veteran, trying to find that one specific piece of info can feel like searching for a needle in a digital haystack. It's a pain. So, your first thought is probably, why not just use something like ChatGPT to summarize all this? And that would be an amazing idea, except for one really, really big problem. Security. That internal information is often super confidential. You absolutely cannot just upload your company's secrets to a public AI service. No way. And that right there is the core dilemma. On one side, you have public AIs, which risk leaking your data. And honestly, they know nothing about your company's internal world anyway. But the solution is on the other side, a private AI. This thing runs on what's called a local large language model, or LLM. Just think of it as a powerful AI brain that operates completely on your own machine. It keeps your data 100% secure, and its entire universe of knowledge comes from one place and one place only, your documents. So let's really frame this challenge properly. We're calling it the internal docs dilemma. And it's all about that clash between needing info fast and the absolute non-negotiable need for data privacy. The problem really breaks down like this, right? You've got all this critical, confidential knowledge just trapped inside hundreds, maybe thousands of pages. Your team needs answers and they need them fast. But the most powerful tools out there for getting answers, those public AIs are completely off limits because of the security risk. It just creates this incredibly frustrating bottleneck for everybody. But what if you could have the best of both worlds? You know, all the power of AI, but with zero security risk? Well, that's exactly where your own personal AI assistant comes into the picture. A secure agent built to serve you and only you. So what even is an AI agent? The easiest way to think about it is like a super specialized assistant. You give it a high level goal like, hey, become an expert on our internal documentation. And then it figures out all the necessary steps on its own. In our case, that means reading the docs, actually understanding them, and then getting ready to answer any question you throw at it. Now, if you're thinking this sounds incredibly complicated, here is the really good news. It's not anymore. Seriously, we now have open source frameworks that do pretty much all of the heavy lifting for you. You do not need a massive team or a huge budget to build something like this anymore. The game has totally changed. So how is this actually possible? Well, let's walk through the blueprint. It really just comes down to three main steps to get a working prototype up and running. The whole process is surprisingly simple. First, you prep the knowledge base, basically the stuff you want the AI to learn. Second, you assemble the agent's brain using one of those cool frameworks. And finally, you just run the agent and start asking it questions. So let's break down each one of those steps. All right, step one, prepping the knowledge. The whole goal here is to give your agent its own little library. This is its single source of truth. So for the example this explainer is based on, a fake 30-page PDF was created all about an internal tool named Virla. This is key because it ensures the agent is learning from truly private data, not something it could just find on the internet. Step two is where you assemble the agent. This is where you use a framework to build its brain. The source material for this uses a really great beginner-friendly open source framework called Crew AI. And honestly, all you have to do is define the agent's role in a simple config file, give it a job title like Virala Tool Expert, and then just point it to the document you want it to read. That's it. And finally, step three, run the agent. This is where the magic happens and it all comes together. You just start a conversation with it, asking questions in plain English, just like you would with a human expert. The agent then dives into its knowledge base, that PDF, and comes back with a direct, summarized answer. So, we've covered the problem and the three-step solution. But now, let's see what actually happens when we put this agent to the test. This is where we go from boring, static documents to a real, dynamic dialogue. We're going to start with a simple, foundational question just to see if the agent has, you know, done its homework. We just type in, what is Virala tool? And bam, look at that. It comes back with a perfect summary, hitting all the key points right from the document. 
it knows it's an observability platform and it highlights its main features like unified visibility and root cause analysis. The cool part is, it didn't just find a keyword, it actually understood the concept. Okay, that was a pretty good start, but can it handle something a little more complex? Let's ask a question that requires it to compare and contrast info. How is Virala platform compared to Prometheus? This was a specific section covered in that source document, so let's see how it does. And wow, look at the response. It correctly identifies that, yeah, they're both monitoring systems, but it immediately dives into the key differences. It's outlining the architecture and the benefits of each. I mean, this is what's so impressive, right? The agent isn't just a fancy search engine. It is synthesizing information from the document to give you a smart, nuanced, comparative answer. Seeing it in action is one thing, but what does all of this really mean for you and your organization? Well, it signals a massive shift in who can actually build and use custom AI tools. It's pretty huge. This is the number that changes everything. 30 minutes. That's roughly how long it took in this source example to go from absolutely nothing to a functioning AI agent that can read a document and answer questions about it. Just 30 minutes. The takeaway here is crystal clear. Creating a private, genuinely useful AI assistant for your team is no longer some massive project that's only for companies with huge R&D budgets. With these modern open source frameworks, it's literally a project a single developer can prototype in less than an hour. And that really leaves us with one final thought to chew on. Just think about all the manuals, the process guides, the wikis in your own workplace. What invaluable knowledge is currently locked away inside those documents, just sitting there, waiting for a tool like this to finally unlock it?